what I wanted to ask both of y'all about, y'all know the recent passing of Julio Fulio. He was a drill rapper out of uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. And he was recently killed in Tampa. And a, it's been a lot of conversation about what was going on with his death and what's going on in hip hop for the youngsters and stuff like that. Well, his mother, you know, she released a statement saying that she wanted to do a documentary on her son mm. and just kind of clearing the air and letting people know what she stood with his whole passing and his life and his legacy. And she said, you know, it's the story that only I can tell because I know the truth from the fakes. I think I'm the only mother that keep it real while most others know damn well what was going on with their sons. This has been going on since 2014, 15. And, you know, she went on to say that, and people ask, where's his mom? It starts from the home. Them not knowing that I stayed on him about this beef stuff, cussed him out, begged him to take stuff down, and when I was shot eight times, I spared the lives of those even though mine was changed. Wow. And she just basically, you know, spoke about the pain that she had to go through living with her son, you know, doing whatever he wanted to do, even though she was trying to direct him and guide him in the right direction. Yeah. She just couldn't get him to go right. And she's going to tell the full story in the documentary, just letting people feel her pain and get a better and clearer understanding of how these things happen and what was really going on. Yeah. I mean, how do y'all feel as OGs and parents and stuff like that when you're raising kids and they don't want to do what's right? Or how do y'all, you know, empathize with how she feels as a mother knowing that, you know, she felt pretty much helpless when her child was going through these things? Uh, I, I, now, this subject right here is, <clears throat> is, is very, 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 I'm passionate about this particular subject itself because you said she was shot eight times, correct? Yeah. My son was shot eight times. Mm. Um, as a matter of fact, I came on one time and I, and, and we kind of discussed it. I mean, he, um, he's actually back in prison right now. My so God. I can sympathize with exactly yeah. what she is talking about. A lot of people looked at me sideways. Yeah. I have been called a bad father. Now, I might have not been the best. I might have been running the streets a little yeah. bit better time. But one thing I did do is I paid every dime a child support. That's right. And I had that nigga on my hip with me as I was paying the motherfucker. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But there were, there were, there were times when he got out of prison the first time. And I love him to death. But he, when he got out of prison the first time, you know, I was scared to, to to let him come to my crib. Mm. Um, my, my mama, you know what I'm saying? She was like, you know, no, we have to meet at Piccadilly or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because of the lifestyle yeah. that he was involved in. Uh, as a matter of fact, fact, before he just went back this last time, I told him, I said, you know, look, it's got to be either one. Either you're going to have to, you can't have five feet in and five foot out. Mm. If you want to do this rap shit, if you want to do this podcast shit, you want to do this, you got to have the same energy mm. that you do out here in the streets while you're out here flagging and repping and stuff, that you, uh, you got to have that same energy on this side, and yeah. you have to let that go. Well, he would tell me, he'll look me in my eyes and, yeah, Pops, huh? yeah, I hear everything you're saying, blah, blah, blah. Five minutes later, I look on Instagram, or I look on this right here, and I see him holding up the AK. Mm -hmm. Holding up this right here, flag. Oh, yeah. Y'all, everybody can die. And I'm, and I'm, and and I used to always tell him, bro, the energy that you put out, yeah, it's the energy that's gonna come back to you. You can believe that. We are all older in this room. Yeah, we know about energy because that's we don't, because I still get certain negative energy from stuff that I did at 19 and 20 years old. My God. There were, there were women that I fucked over. Yep. Now I might get fucked over now. Yep. There are goddamn niggas I don't fucked over. Yep. That motherfucker might, you know, run off with my little money. Don't pay me at the end of the club <laughs> night. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, you know? Well, I, I threw a show in that pill, motherfucker. I guess it came back around. But <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel her and if, you, if she don't got shot eight times, she she's better than me because I wouldn't even put myself, I didn't even put myself in a position to be shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew where it would go. And I told my son that. It was hard to tell him when my son calls me and say, Pops, um, you know, hey, I need some money, but I'd rather come get it uh, from you to the crib because I want to hug your neck. Uh, I want to see the crib at. I want to do this right here, and I would have to. I would have to tell him, so I, I'll meet you down the road. I don't know who's following you. Yeah. Every time you call me on the phone, you in a shootout with a nigga. Yeah. You know, nigga don't follow you over the hill. Yeah. Uh, you don't follow a nigga over there. So, I made a point into my life that say, I, since I got past the game, and, and thank God, because I, a lot of my partners either dead or jail. I know it's cliche, but it is it's the, the truth. truth. 
Mm-hmm. And, and and since I got past it, that's why I sit here today in grace. That's why I sit here today uh, humble and trying to tell, you know, saying to youth, look, bro, this is how it's going to end for you. You know what I'm saying? You got to make a decision right now. This is how it's going to end. You're going to die. You're going to be in prison. Or you're going to kill somebody else and, and fuck a family up. Yeah. So I feel bad for getting shot eight times and people, you know, think that you were the problem. Mm. How does that sit? Yeah. You know, how does that sit with you, Behind? Well, now, that makes me angry. Right. That's really what I want to ask you, yeah. too, because when you talk about your son and you try to, you know, talk to him to make a change, what do you think it is in these kids' heads that won't allow it to click? The devil. Talk to the It's the pig. devil, bro. All this stand back from good and evil, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like once you raise your kid and, and try to get them a better life, and once they get involved with certain things in the streets, the devil grab them. You know, like mm-hmm. even even when you're dealing with a gang, yeah. once you get in the gang, that's your family now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You, your loyalty is to that gang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't know, you better recognize it because mm-hmm. if you go down that road and you ain't living that life, they gonna do something to you. Yeah. And with Mom Dukes, I'm sorry that happened to Mom Dukes, but like, we never go through nothing God don't want us to go through. Yeah. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? She got shot eight times, but she lived. That's right. And she's saying she about to tell the story. Yeah. Wow. See, that's a testimony that God want her to put out to save the other moms and the other kids that's going through it. That's right. That, mm. The ones who didn't make it, but she made it. Yeah. Mm. And now she's finna do the, the the documentary and everybody finna be enough to get a chance to see it firsthand. Yeah. Because he was doing crazy shit. Mm-hmm. And the devil was guiding him. It be spirits. Mm. Spirits jump, bro. Yeah. Just like we were just talking about energy. Yeah. You feel mm. what I'm saying? So with him dissing dead people, you got to also look at what's going on. Like bro just said, whatever you put in, you gonna get out. Yeah, man, it I it I don't want the money like that. I'm Come not if, if me and you beefing. It's it, it's certain things. It's it's about respect, bro. Yeah. It's about a conscience. If me and you beefing, beefing, if you get me, you get me. But if I get you, I got you. And I ain't trying to tell nobody I got you. Mm. I ain't trying to boast and brag. That ain't nothing to brag about. Yeah, because just like he, just like the people he got, you can be got. Yeah, and he got got. Yeah. You feel me? And, and it ain't a good thing because when he was leaving, if he had enough time, everything that he done did ran across his mind before he died. Mm. Because I done been in a situation where I almost died. Yeah. And when you going through it, it flips like this. Every memory. Mm. From the time that you a baby, from the time that we talking right now, and if it end up on the end to where you at right then, laying on your back, and you don't get up from that, your ass going to that next life. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? God blessed me to the point that I seen that, and yeah. I was able enough to shake it and have a testimony to be able enough to say this now. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So she got a testimony, <laughs> and I feel like she's going to save a lot of lives. Mm. And don't look at the bad thing. I know it's bad that you got hit eight times, you lost the son, but God got something for you. Exactly. He got something for her. No, you just snapped. No, I mean, you just snapped on that. Your thoughts with I, I mean, you know, like I said, um, you know, my story's already out there. Uh how does it make po- you feel as a parent though, Wick, if well, he you don't want to do right and you know that the end is death or in jail, though? What kind of frustrations does that give a parent? Well, see, and see that and I'm glad you 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 brought that up right here too, because here's something to the parents out there. I'm gonna give you give y'all a little game. You have to come to a point in your life to where you you give up and give it to to your creator, God, whatever yeah. that your creator, whether you you praise a ball of water, yeah. whatever your creator is. I don't try to get into <laughs> religion or what each man feels like is his God or his yeah. his energy. Yeah, but whatever that is, you have to tap into that, mm-hmm. and you have to you have to turn that life over to him because we are just vessels. We're just shepherds over these lives. Mm-hmm. We don't own these kids now. Mm-hmm. We're we're just stewards over them. Yeah, they're owned by a higher power, a higher energy. That's right. You're there to guide them. You're there to to, to make sure that they understand the universal motion that's yeah. going on. That's your job to do. Yeah. Hey, this is this is the energy. This is good energy. Yeah, going to school. Yeah, taking care of your family. Yeah, or we can have you some bad energy. Yeah, you cannot pay the child support. Yeah, you can stand on the cone up there, damn a Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. But this is what happens with it. And when I got to the point 
Then I said, you know what? I'm fighting a battle that I can't win. Mm. I can't. It's nothing I personally can say to this grown man now, yeah. which is still my son. He's still a, he's still my baby, yeah. but he's still a grown man to the world, yeah. to the universe. Yeah. Yeah. And my words, I, I say I say what I'm gonna say, but I, I I let it go. And once I let it go, I have peace. I'm at the point now that you know I I pray for the best for him, and and. If you know when stuff that he just went, like I said, he just went back to prison. This time it didn't hit me as hard. Mm. The first time it was like hit me with a, like a side of brick because you know I'm like it's me. Yeah. What did that damn? What did I do? You know. Yeah. Then, damn, I didn't buy them joints when he in tenth grade. Maybe that's where he went wrong at. Yeah. Because you know? I got him the pro wings. You yeah. Know? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't gonna go there with you. <laughs> but that will make a man get off on the wrong foot. I'm telling you, I come gotta on. get them James. Exactly, man. You gonna come there with some pro damn things. Especially the way these you good suckers drive the boy. That's where you fail right now. <laughs> all the love, all the care, all the meals don't mean nothing. You, know mean you want them James. <laughs> these niggas jiving. Yeah. Exactly. I'm telling you. But oh, nah, you remember they had uh, instead of starter coat, I got the swingster. Oh lord! Oh. <laughs> no, You've oh. been having a fight, no <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but now, nah, but on a serious note, though, I, I I have peace and I take solace in that. I gave it over to my creator, and I have a clear consciousness. When I hear something. I pray just like if I hear something from one of my partners, like, damn, I hope goddamn be high. Right. I hope yeah. he's gonna be all right. Yeah. I'm gonna pray for him tonight. Yeah. And I leave it at that right there because I'm not gonna drive myself crazy. Worrying about another per even if it's your family member. Yeah. Worrying about their problems and wearing those right now. If you got you got daughters and they they eleven years old, you're wearing them all the way up until but motherfucker forty five years old. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Thirty years old and they doing their thing. Hey, you made that decision. He's at the point you got to wear it. Yeah. You got you got to stand on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll come down there and see you in, 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 you know, in prison if you want me to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, bro, I'm not fixing to fall out and have a heart attack worrying about what my son is doing or anybody else's son is doing right now because me, myself, if I made it, my son can make it. Yeah. And I tell him that. You ain't doing nothing, bro, that I didn't do. Come on. I did it. And, and 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 my last thing I will say to this right here, and thank God that I did have this knowledge with me. I always, when I was young and I was coming up, I was always a leader. And this is something that I, I tap into my son with. And if y'all got young boys out there, they have to know how to be a leader. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's what we have to teach them. You are yeah. a king. Yeah. There's, only, there's only one throne. Yeah. And everybody's gonna be trying to knock you off that throne. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But you have to you have to teach these young boys how to be kings out here. And I that's what I've been trying to teach my son. I say, you know, bruh, you out here trying to take something from a nigga that don't work hard. Did you ever think that in the midst of you trying to take something from him, that something get taken from us? Yeah. That he could kill you. Now that's gonna affect me, your mama, your 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 grandmama, your your, your or you kill him, and it's yeah. gonna affect his daughters that he have, and you don't rob this man and knock him out. This man has a whole family that's yeah. waiting on him to come home and for for emotional and financial support. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So when you do these crimes out here, I tell my son, you're not just affecting yourself. You think when you sitting there holding that gun by yourself, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. I'm in power. Mm -hmm. I'm in control. This ain't gonna affect nobody. Just maybe the nigga that I'm getting this from. But when it goes horribly wrong, even if you you don't kill a motherfucker and you take his last. Yeah. I just, one time I got into it, I was this was back in in ninety but about ninety four, I got into, you know, one of my partners, to make a long story short, Rob, one of my other partners. Everybody, you know, kinda of been to some and when I say Rob I ain't talking about a gunpoint, I'm talking about running off on the plug type yeah. shit. I'm in the middle of some bullshit. We yeah. talking we talking some real dope. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm in the middle of this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm telling my I'm telling, you know, my partner, you have to get this motherfucking dog back. He don't damn we you don't got soft. I said, no, nah, nigga. No, nah, nigga, I got I got kids, I got friends, I got this, I got moms, I got aunts, I got nieces, I got nephews. Yeah. These niggas want their motherfucking dope. Yeah. And, and and gonna go up to tell you, they don't they can't get in touch with you. So by you even doing that when I don't turn you on to a nigga, you were saying Ooh. fuck me. Yeah. That's what you were motherfucking saying. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what I'm too. saying? Yeah. yeah. You so, don't rob me and, too. Yeah. And what if I have to now when I see the nigga now, I gotta have gunplay with a nigga and I kill a nigga. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So shit I have nothing to do with. Come on. I tell my son, that's not boss shit. That's not exactly. king shit. Mm -hmm. King shit to get your ass out here 
and doing what you need to do for you and your family. Keeping shit clean. And keeping shit guy and keeping our name clean. Yeah. And I for the for for, for mom dudes, like you were saying, like I with my kids, I always tell my kids, cause recently um my my, my little girl, her grandma passed, great grandma passed, and you know she was sad and stuff. So mm-hmm. I always instill in them, believe in God, and I always tell them we can't love nobody more than what God love us. Yeah. Mm. Cause all of us, his kids. Yeah. So you can love your kids, you can love your people, and but you can't love them more than God loves us. Come on. Mm. So when when stuff go on, you're gonna be hurt, you're gonna be sad, but you got to give it to him, bro. Yeah. Because right. if you don't, you'll go crazy, bro. Yeah. Exactly. You'll go crazy. You got to believe in him, bro, and give it to him, bro. Those are the you know facts. what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, no, nah, that was my main thing right there. I just wanted to talk about that and just get everybody's reactions yeah. to, you know, Julio Fulio's mom and her yeah. creating a documentary to, you know, celebrate <laughs> the legacy, but also use it as a learning tool for everybody else. But I got to also say, though, I mean, Spacewalk, fellas. Yes. Oh, man. What's happening? Man, we no. walking all on the moon, man. Ooh. We walking all on the moon, Ooh. man. Gold shoes, man. Yeah. Gold tilts, man. I need that dance. I need the people to come on out and support us now. We, you know, y'all come on here every day. Um and and behind giving 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 you the best content out. Yeah, we're trying to push the the, the, the culture forward mm. by bringing in you know Peter the Disciple, aka Planet Pete. Yes, now. sir. Bringing in the, you know the goody mobs and yeah. the blah blah blahs and everybody else. And and you do this behind not just to find out what an old school artist has been up to, mm. but so that people can support them still because that a lot right. of these rappers can still rap. Exactly. If they bought an MJG, I say this all the time, if they can rap in 1996, what you think they can do now? Exactly. They can still rap. Yeah. They don't got smarter. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of us old school artists, we, we, you know, we might have, you know, changed the narrative a little bit, but we still out here, we still out here rocking. Support the movement because if because here's the deal, behind mm. all these people that be on here complaining mm. about the young music, yeah, be the same motherfucker won't even go over there and share your shit, won't go over there mm. and really give you a listen, won't go over there Come and on. get involved. I'm asking exactly. for the space walk shit right now. Go yeah. on over there, find a song, OG Galaxy Wick, find Little Pete, uh, uh, Planet Pete, Galaxy Wick, you know, and and pass it to the young kids. Hey, do it, get, give me a dance to this. Let me record it. Let me send it to Beehive. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Maybe we we'll put you on this video. Exactly. Uh, these TikTok challenges and stuff. So I need I need people to stop just you know running their mouth about the 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 uh, the the new music that they don't like. If you don't like it, then do something about it and support the artists that 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 you do like. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm at with it. I'm with it. Pete, I'm with you it. You got something to let these folks know, hey, man. We moonwalking on the moon, man. Space <laughs> walk, man. Get down with the movement. Hey, before we go, talk to congratulations me. with the sponsorship. Appreciate brother. you, man. And I appreciate, appreciate you, brother. I appreciate yeah, you, brother. We working yes, it out, man. Yeah. We working it yes, out. Sir. You yes, know, sir. and uh, also, man, my thoughts and prayers are with Julio Fulio's mom. Yes. Yes. man. I want to yes. send my condolences to her because I know she's going through a lot right now, you know, just having to live through all of this stuff and right. tell the story. Right. And uh, that's just what it is, man. Y'all hit the comments. Get down with that space ball movement. Be high, ready, yo, shout it. Big Galaxy, Planet P. Yes, sir. We gone. Yeah.